And we're right back into it, Chan. All right, let's do this. Crash out the second bonfire, take the shortcut. Ah, crap, you know what I just realized? Almost done with this DLC, but I still have the final boss of the game to do. Okay. Is there anything like... I haven't put none of the Lord's souls in the chairs. Doing that just goes straight to the boss fight, doesn't it? No. No? I have to, like, work my way through some things? No, you basically just go to the bonfire and you're like, I'm ready. Oh, okay. Okay. Back on down. To Gwen and that person. There we go! I'm at the church. There's a man wielding two greatswords looking at ultra greatswords at that. Hello, friend. How are you? Are you ready to die? Ah, jump attack! Don't worry. All your brothers got hit by the same attack. And I did the same tactic for all of them. He has literally the dumbest weapon. <laughs> Great pair of great swords? Yeah. Why is that the dumbest weapon? It's one weapon. Oh, is it? I wasn't paying attention. It's one weapon. It does horrible damage. And it's one weapon. I want to equip it now. How's it one I weapon? It. You equip it and it you click Y and now you got two. Yeah, they're paired great swords. I hate it so much. But I'm trying to figure out where you get the one weapon part. It's two great it's, swords. It's one weapon though. Like you equip one weapon. You don't equip two great swords, you equip one weapon. Okay, uh, is it the same like the twin swords and all? Yeah, those are two, that's, that's, that's two swords, it's one weapon. But like, they're ultra great swords. They're not ultra great swords, they're just great swords. Oh, wow, they are ultra great swords. That was, yeah, I was about to say. But in like the title, they call them great swords. Anyways, moving on. Wait, was there stuff over here? There's death. Oh, there is stuff. Hello. Twinkling time tonight. Okay. Well. I got a question. How are they? How are you supposed to figure out that puzzle? Mm. Without looking it up. What? The uh, where you become a humanity. No idea. It, like it, without it, the people. developer saying something, how would you figure that out? That's how they figured it out. Developers. But no. Spending hours thinking. Ah oh, crap! I skipped some of the text. Do I do. I ran away and listened again. I did it three times before I actually got it right. None may dismiss or disturb our Mrs. Slumber. Opens doors. What was that? I couldn't hear you. You had to speak up. There, now that these doors are open and no one's been disturbed from slumbering, maybe you can tell me. Oh, oh no, I don't want to fight! No, run, run, run! Alright, whatever. It is Adjudicator, you were right. You're big, man. You make Yorm look small. You're not gonna blow up, are you? No. I would He's hate fair. He's not really the boss fight. Oh, oh, oh. Painted guards, what are you doing here? Bad painted guards. Oh, he's not ready. Don't. I'm doing dick all damage to these guys. They just have a lot of HP. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I had no stamina. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Ow. Ow. Nope. No, back up, back up, back up. Oh. oh my god, we like had no HP and he just hit first. How did I fail that boss fight? Dude, you couldn't see his HP bar. Chan, are you there? Yeah, I'm reading. Oh my god, I feel like such an idiot. Haha, <laughs> well, I can see a slight sliver of red. Oh, he had no HP. I can see the red, man. Oh it's my god. How did I screw that up? Of one HP. How did I screw that up? So on NG plus seven, with the proper equipment, killing Meteor may grant the player with 1,115,370 souls. Woohoo! That's a handful of levels for me. That's like five or six. What, do most bosses on plus seven game don't give that many souls? Uh, apparently not, because it's making it the largest amount of souls in Dark Souls 3 that can be granted by killing one creature. Hmm. I was thinking about starting live streaming me playing this game. Can I not skip this guy talking? Oh, I drank already. God. Oh my god. I tried cheesing it. Oh well. Ow. Ah, Jesus. Still talking, I killed you. something kind of cool about the calamity effect which is a ring that you can get in our track and peek from sitting at some stuff i did i get they, it yeah i got it they think like well it gives you it makes you take double damage yeah and people think that like calamite uh there's something to do with mid -year's head and the calamity effect because of it dealing a lot of damage as well as taking double damage when you hit the head oh yeah and calamity did a similar thing but it's the whole calamity thing was temporary whereas it's not with uh the dude hey chan yeah 
So one I didn't know this. You know the uh, adjudicator who talks to you before the boss fight? Argo? Sure. You can kill him. Yeah. I didn't know that. When he's like, yeah. what do you mean? Yeah, like he sits there and talks and then he says, go spare the church and he disappears. So when I went... Oh, I didn't know he disappeared. I just killed him. Yeah, I killed him on my second time because like he left. If you're going to spend the souls, spend them because uh, it's going to get rowdy. That's fine. I got it. This is a very interesting part of the entire. This is the most interesting part of the this entire deal. This is Chan. Two hundred and thirty-nine thousand souls is not one level for me, so I don't have much to spend it on. I guess I could go buy armor, uh, but I get souls later. Lady. You only need twenty thousand. Here we go. This is, again, the most interesting part of the entire DLC. My dancer claws just clipped through it. I broke it! Probably because you stuck your claws in it. Why would you touch it, dude? Now she's going to be angry. You should just poked her. Well, you done, goof player. What is up with our guys and wanting to touch stuff in this game? The inside is very reminiscent of the transposition kiln that you give to uh, Ludlith. In fact. Hi! Oh, you're glowing. Oh no, it's glowing. Yeah, I know. I'm speechless too. I don't have anything to say. Bright light. Darkness. Thought maybe I finally died and went to heaven, but nope, nope, I'm still here. She's speechless because she's disappointed. That I wasn't her size? Or that, that I broke her you, egg? That you weren't Gwyn. Oh. No, she's dead. Gwyn, so, oh well. Gwyn put her to rest. Just zoom out, dramatic zo Holy crap, that's a lot of dust. Dust. It's not sad, it's dust. It just needs a good cleaning. It's dust. Hello, lady. Well, ash, is that better? It's ashes, isn't it? Uh, it could be. Because, like, ashes of Ari and Del, is that what this is called? No, this no. is... <laughs> That's what the this other one was called. The Ring City. Wait, the other one was called Ashes of Ariandel, and in this one, all you've done is jump in ash-like substances with the rune things. Like it had white stuff built up under it, where you jump down. That's what you've done this entire DLC. But it's not called Ashes of Ariandel or something like that. Because Ariandel is the guy that that you killed first of all, and he made the painting second of all. I remember seeing you fight this guy, by the way. Yeah. But I didn't, I, love Gale. I actually don't like remember anything about it. And I didn't even say to watch you play it. Cause you, cause like you didn't want me watching too much. Yeah. Oh, I love Gale. Help me fix the red hood. See this guy, you, you can watch him walk all the way up to the church soul. that you just came from. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Or I can kill him. Yeah. It does the same. It's the same thing. <laughs> Vati video waited the, the the mess letter time it takes for him to crawl over there 12 souls oorah I was tempted to watch him but I'm impatient but he's a pygmy lord which is very interesting that he's going to Filianor no he's not a pygmy lord he's a dead guy big difference a lord would be alive He's lost his status. You're not a lord. I anyway. know I'm not. And I'm not. And in about wait, wait, 30 wait, seconds, wait, wait, I won't wait, be alive. Wait, 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 wait. Your job is to return the lords of Cinder to their throne. After killing them. But they're still lords of Cinder. 
What? He's alive? Sad face. Or is this just another lord right here? What are you doing? He's eating him? Mm-hmm. That's what he was talking about, the red cape thing has come, or whatever. What no. Still here. It's because he has a red hood. He's had it the entire time. That's what I was saying, like, is this why, is this why he was talking about the red cape thing has come to eat us, or whatever? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. The red hood has come for us. Oh, my lead is painting. What? This is the guy at the beginning, was it? No. This is the guy that brought you into Ashes of Ariane Bell. Okay. I was praying at the altar. Yeah, okay, so I thought it was. Oh my god, he's running like a, an animal running time! No. Nope. This is. I believe this is far, far into the future. And Philianor brought you to the future, which is why she's dead. And, and like, withered away. Oh, you're a fun little guy to fight. I like you. Oh, I got hit right there. Oh, I rolled into that one. That was, that was a good dodge. Before he, like, he swung up at you, he, perfect dodge. Bad time to heal. I gotta learn how to heal with this guy. Yeah, there's that part right there. Uh, this first phase is pretty easy. Because... Basically, when he jumps up, you, you get free time. You can take a nap. You can uh, drive around the block a couple times. You can have a crack call with the boys. You can stun him, which you've done. Probably about you now 40 seconds ago. <laughs> Stunning him really doesn't do that all that much for you, though. Considering you can't, uh, repost him. God, at this point, I'm just healing just to get hit again. Yeah, you're just getting punished. I'm not gonna have enough that's Estus Blast for the next fight. Yeah, that's why I sat there for a while and just did this first phase. So I was like, I don't want to waste all my Estus on this. He literally has, like, five moves. And he only uses like three of them predominantly. Oh, and then he does that one. I hate that one. Which one? The one where he does like his big wombo combo in the first phase. Where he does like five hits and he's like charging forward. Hey, that looks like the uh, one of the Lords of Cinder's chairs. Is waiting 30 seconds to catch up. Oh yeah, it looks like Ludlitz. <gasps> Brandon, I love you. I love you too, man. Oh. I never nobody Wow. Brandon, you're suddenly good at lore? The, the, dark soul. the dark soul is bleeding. You know, I wish when I lost a third of my HP I just turned god mode and just flicked on a phase two and had power seeping out of every spot in my body. Wish I could do that. But no, I'm just a midget. You're a pygmy. Same thing. I'm a midget. They both mean small, but pygmies. <laughs> pygmies were politically correct. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Alright, homeboy, let's do this. Well, <laughs> next time, eat, all, eat the Lords of Cinder. Eat them? Not the Lords of Cinder, eat the, eat the pygmy lords. We mean eat them. That's what he did. So I can eat them? He consumed the blood of the Pygmy Lords. What is that? 
Rolled into it, doesn't matter. Oh, oh, I was not ready for your machine gun. That's all right. That's all right. Do you not know me, man? I'm the health god of this game. I can take a couple hits. That's a couple. Uh, I go to kick him like an idiot. Jesus, your character has like one, two, <laughs> three, four, and five. I just got oh. more stuck in me. I got like seven in me right now. There's some in my ankles, some in my arms. You can, you have the choice of getting that. His little crossbow thing. Is that one thing people like shoot three or four arrows at once? Yeah. It's yeah. obnoxious. A lot of people like to use it. It seems like really cool. Yeah, I kind of liked his sword. You can get his sword. It's all it's it's all chipped and stuff like you see now. That was a poor roll on my part. Yeah, Gale is truly... Darn, dude, he's so close to dying. Oh well. That was a good first try. He has like 15% HP left. I think I did really good that time. He, he's like... The epitome, the epitome of what someone needs to be in Dark Souls to survive. A cannibal? I guess not a cannibal if they're not him, huh? Just a flesh eater then? Well, he is a pygmy. Oh, is he? So yeah, he's a cannibal. Well, Look how big does... this boss fight arena is. Yeah, I love oh it. Oh my god. He does it for the right reasons. That's the first time I've been hit by that. <laughs> and... Also, like, if you think about it, he's a slave knight, and slave knights have been around since the time of God. I've never actually been hit by that. I've never been hit until just now, dude. Oh my God, it was so painful. That's actually really dope. You know what would be even doper? If I could do it to someone else. Hey, maybe you get a sword. I don't know. Like, could but, you um... imagine if like the Dark Souls player had an option to thrust for and then pale like some of the smaller enemies on their sword and throw them? Oh God, he did it again! Like that would be awesome. The dancer does it. This guy does it. Most of the bosses have like their own like impale throw thing. The pontiff, I think, does. Yep. That one got me quite a few times. Jesus. I got you twice with it, bro. I know. But anyway, he's a slave knight, which means he's been around for centuries. Age, he's been around since the age of gods. And gods have been gone for a while. They've been gone for a long while. Because pretty pretty soon after defeating the, the dragons, they started the slave knights. And of course, he didn't die. But he ended up finding Arya. Who's technically not officially named Arya, but people call Arya because... The painting of Ariamis, the painting of Ariana. She's Del. basically her, is what you're saying. No, it's uh, so like the guy who made the painting in this game is Ariandel. The guy, uh, the person who made the painting in the first game, is named Ariamis. So people just call her Aria because you know, birds of a feather. But they like her uh, way. She. She wants to make a painting that succeeds. Like, Ariandel, the issue with Ariandel is you have to you have to burn the painting. You have to burn the rod away from the painting. You paint a new world. Ariana's, you know, that, that was just kind of messed up in general. But 
Dude, he literally, he just like did like a backflip midair, swinging his sword and shotting, shot his arrow at the same time for his bow gun. That was yeah. so cool. And like he doesn't slow motion. Did you, you notice that? God! Like, first, I rolled into the lightning. His, uh, when he goes to shoot his crossbow, he doesn't slow motion. That kind of reminds me of uh, Red versus Blue. One of the guys like we we have to do this thing in slow motion, and they're in the middle of a war, and everyone's like saying, "No, you can't do that in slow motion. Slow motion doesn't happen in real life. When life wants something to be in slow motion, if it's cool enough, it will find a way." Apparently, Nightingale is so cool. Life gave him slow motion. Yeah. Life found a way, man. It I love how you keep walking out that door like that's where you need to go. Like you walk out the, the door. I like how both yeah, times I've right respawned, there. he's impaled me. Both times, I wasn't ready. What was I... Oh yeah, Arya. So, I don't remember if you talked to Arya or if you listened to what she said, but she said that she wanted to paint a cold, dark... And gentle place. Was it gentle? gentle? Yeah. Very gentle place. But, you know, you gotta have the right painting supplies to do that. And you have to see flame. Well, she saw she her flame. flame. But now she needs the pigments. And Uncle Gale said that he'd fetch it for her. But... No! The only way to get the the pigments, like from, the dark, pigmen. from the, the pygmies, pygmy, <laughs> think Minecraft now. The only way to get the dark soul of man was the blood of the pygmies, but there was a problem. The lord, the lords, the lord of pygmies have also been around since the age of gods. They were the original humans. The original pygmy humans. <clears throat> and so their blood is long dried. But there is a way to solve that. If you take all of their blood and add it to yours, it will recoagulate it into your system. So, you kill Gale, you have more the blood. Blood of the Dark Soul because all of the blood from the pygmies is now in him. So, in essence, he kind of wants you to kill him. Oh, he is not making it easy, is he? Bro, if no. you want this, let me do it, you know? Like, don't be difficult if you want something. I'm willing to help you. In this time, Arya's probably dead. Like, it's pretty reasonable that Arya is probably dead. And in this little time, he has failed. So he, he probably got his quest done, but is probably going hollow, I'm assuming. And going crazy. No! Nah! Because if Ari is dead, then he has no reason to live anymore. Because he's basically doing all of this so that people like her can have a place to live that's safe from everybody else. Yeah, because it is a very dangerous world in the Dark Soul universe. Unless you're Slave Nightingale, and then you live. You, you live from the beginning of time to the end of time. Because this is supposedly the end of time. Well, I mean, with his power level, which is over 50,000. It's over 9,000. So yeah, those come back, just so you know. The, uh, the things that you, yep, you found out. Okay. As you stood, like, right inside of it. The little... This little Krillin, Krillin, what are the Krillin discs? What, what do you call those? Destructo disc or something like that? Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds something like that. 
When he's fighting Nappa and Vegeta, he grazes Nappa's face and Nappa just is like super mad. He's like, no, this is how you do it. Or something like that, I don't remember. It's been like 10 years since I watched it. I haven't seen any Dragon Ball Z in so I used to own time. the original Dragon Ball Z on VHS. I just watched it. Jesus, you have so much more stamina than me. <laughs> ah! Stamina is nice and all, but having unlimited stamina is worthless if the person can't use it right. Not really, that's, that's pretty false. If you have unlimited stamina, you're pretty much set. That's, that's the thing, is stamina... Uh... If I had unlimited stamina, I would probably still lose this boss fight repeatedly. Like a big part of its stamina, what's the word? Uh, mana endure consumption stamina. Ah, he pulled up and got me with it. Whatever that is. You know, I didn't even think about this. This music's fairly loud for me. I wonder how loud it is for my videos i never thought about that and these are unedited too so i love the music of gale oh it's such a beautiful track don't get me wrong i'm liking it but god it gets a little loud oh and i like there's this guy on youtube who is, who has created uh piano versions of all of them oh slave night gales it's absolutely but this is this is probably my favorite fight in Dark Souls so far. Cause it feels like two two warriors who have gone through absolutely everything and now are They've literally journeyed to the end of time and they're facing each other. For all they know, they're all that remains. There we go, Slave Night Gale's dead. Fourth try, I think? Yeah, I think so. Fourth or fifth. Here we go. Blood of the Dark Soul. Dude. That was a pretty intense boss fight. Yeah. <sighs> I think the only one that rivals it and giving you that same feeling of fighting another person is uh, Artorius. You can see out in the distance the bonfire. There's another person that you can fight out here. Oh yeah? Well, we got 30 minutes to kill. Yeah, you might have to teleport out and back. Okay. Let's see what I can get for his soul, anyways. You okay? You can get a sword or his uh, bow gun. I think, I think I'll go with the bow gun. I'm gonna get my blanket. Hang on. Ugh. Hey, choke on frames real fast. What was that? I choked on freaking FPS. Jesus. Ashen one. Choked on it? Or my computer choked up, whatever. <laughs> Is there nowhere to aim it? Oh no. You had it. L B. Oh yeah. Oh god, I didn't need to. I, I meant to, but <laughs> it's not that fast. Like he held a hundred something in this thing, and I'm only holding one.
What's the point of that? What's the weapon art? Weapon art? What do I, how do I do that? LT. Oh, he like cocks it. Is that the thing you're doing in the air? Yeah. Do you have the right stats? Yeah, it's 16 strength, 20 dexterity. Wait, look at it in the menu. Oh, Man. Point. That gave me 30 seconds to look at it. Huh. That's weird. What's the X? Whatever. No, I mean, when you go into it, if you just click X now, it says remove. But uh, the the words. This crossbow customized for repeat fire to face mobs alone was wielded by Slave Knight Gale. Using battles of an endless journey, this crossbow is covered with twists and dinks, rusted with blood, and made extremely brittle from overuse. Skill, repeat fire. Assume a stance to activate repeat fire mechanism and repeat fire with normal and strong attacks. Got it. Mm. You'll see in just a second. Fires 10 arrows at a time. What'd you do? You hold left trigger and then immediately press RB, uh, it shoots 10. Mm, if you hold it in your left hand, so you'd hold left trigger and then hit LB. So just single hand it? Yeah, you want to admit it in a little bit. Yeah, it does the same thing. All right, well, you said there's someone here I can fight. Yeah, to, if you go, when you go down, there's a new area kind of. Or when you, you have to be near Philianor. Oh, I had to go back up to her. Yeah, yeah. Sure, I, I'm just gonna travel to that bonfire then. It's not a far run. But I've been running this whole fight. My character wants to take a break, dude. Dude, do you ever think about that? Not only do we have like our own stamina bar that we increase, but just the physical stamina of our character is ridiculous to be able to run as long as we have. Oh. Well, we don't die. It's not like pain is a big deal for him. Okay, I'm at the entrance. Okay, when you walk out towards uh, the area where you fought Gale, you should see like another little building area you can go to on the right or something. When you go down a little bit. I think like where your souls were to the right is where it's supposed to be. You might have to. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Nothing happens until you walk in. Okay, I'm in. I've searched oh. for thee, dark, stricken creature. I am Shira, daughter of the whoa, 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 what are descendant you... of gods, and trusted friend to Medea. Yeah, you know that door you were sexing up. I am the honor of the gods, Lady. the glory of fire, and the fear of the dark. Thou shalt not go unpunished for thy Hello? treachery. Hello, yes, the door I was sexing up, this is her. Yeah, it's the door. Yearning. Hello, door. These arrows do dick. They go through her. She was rolling through them all. <laughs> I do not like you. Oh, this is how it's gonna be. It's gonna be a healing game, is it? Lady, I got more Essence Flask than you probably ever have seen. Ah, 
have nothing to say about Shiva. She's just a loyal follower. Shira? Her name's Shira, not Shiva. Shira, yeah. Oh, I just did 1700 damage to her. Ah, you're out of SS Blast. Ow. Ow. Oh, no. She almost killed me with a combo. Uh, yeah, not much to say about her. She's just you now follow Filianor, Filianor waiting for Gwyn to awake her. But, you know, she died, so yeah. Epic yeah. Finisher! Oh, I missed. Chen, you want to see an Epic Finisher? You'll never get to see it because she's going to kill me. She even held that one in for me. I'm going to die trying to finish her coolly. Alright, whatever. You know what? You stupid whore. You had your chance. You had your chance to go out like a boss. But no. No, no, no. You just kept hitting me. Thanks for the Mad King crucifix thing and thanks for the slab. Okay. Is that it? Am I done? Hello? Mm. Am I done? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Alright. I have 20 minutes left. Killed the deer. You killed, uh, him. I think it's... You killed the demon prince. Yeah, he pretty much covered all the bosses. So, I have 20 minutes left. Let's go fight the endgame boss. I should be able to do that in 20 minutes, right? Yeah, he's not particularly hard. His first phase is harder than his second phase, but, um... His, his first phase is only... You remember him, yeah? I kind of remember him, but not really. It's been his, over two years or something phase, like that. His first phase, he basically changes into different uh, play styles. Basically, he becomes a different player each time. Yeah, it's really annoying. But then, in the second phase, he's pretty much like Gwyn. I'm really tired. Like I'm, I'm sitting here trying to fall asleep. I know. I'm tired so I'm too. Gonna, but we're almost I'm done, man. And, uh, no, no. Twenty minutes. Twenty, 20 minutes, minutes, man. That's all you got to make I it. Gotta, I have to get up in four hours. Why? This is your idea, by the way. I know, but a couple hours ago, I thought you'd be done by now. What? Really? You thought I could just breeze through? I was basically at the beginning of the DLC. Yes. Yeah, We've only been playing for two hours on that DLC. Yeah, it's not long. I'm skipping this because I've already seen it. Black screen. Darkness, darkness, darkness. Oh, I got, my brother's got to go to school. So what does that require you? Because I have to get him to the to his transport. Transportation. To his transport, yeah. Watch this, I'm gonna beat him on my first try. You ready for this? His transport is. Here we go, first try, baby. You can, when you walk out, you can see the uh, drag keep. The end of the world. Kill him at the first flame. Okay, I'm gonna rest up. And here we go. First try, last boss. Here we go. This is it, man. I am so close to be able to end this series and go play Alien. I Just think, this is for you, man. Alien Isolation is after this. Yeah, when, when's that going to come out, man? Uh, let's see. Probably start... What's today? It's Thursday. I could probably start, if not by this weekend, probably Monday or Tuesday. Coming it's out, like... Uh, publish or play it. Like I'll probably play for... Remember, I'm going to play it one day, so... So if I, let's say, I record it all day Monday, I'll post it, like, starting Tuesday. Okay. Two episodes a day, probably. First hit, absolutely dead on hits you. Third hit hits you. Confidence. It's just... I'm a tank, dude. I'm a tank build in this game, okay? Filing out of me. Two hits in a row. He's like doing no damage to me. Hey, repost! 
pissed at me! He's pooing me! Ah! Oh! Forgot he could do that. Ha! What? I'm finally catching up to that fairy and it's absolutely <laughs> hilarious. He's like so sexy, isn't he? He like I didn't even know he could bury. Yeah, that's all he did when I first fought him. He's never carried you before. That was that comes as a shock. What was he doing? Uh, oh, soul or phase two, I guess. Wow, dude, you don't have a lot of HP. I should twenty five hundred damage and you're almost dead. No, uh, you soul level is way higher than it really should be to fight this guy and have it not be a ridiculous fight because you're doing like 1400 damage don't worry i'm about to die so or not you die on the easier phase i'm doing 400 per hit thank you very much i look like you're doing 1400 if i was doing 1400 he died in two hits no if you did 1400 it didn't yeah, we trade it. We trade it hits, but I live. I have more HP than him. There we go. Boss done. That took four. Dude, at 42 minutes, I was there at Slave Knight Gale's area. I was like, let's do this. So it took me four minutes to run all the way back, teleport, activate the cutscene, run around to each chair, come run all the way up here, and then fight him. I know. I level 182 or 86. I shouldn't be bragging. Makes me feel good, though, so I don't care. Yay. Link the first flame. Hey, what's this? <gasps> I never saw this before. Summoning the firekeeper. Beat the game? I've never summoned the firekeeper. Uh, I've never done that before. Did you do. Oh. Did you give her the eyes? Yeah. Hello, you lady. Two, uh, you have two options when it comes to this ending. If you kill the firekeeper, you get the, the kind of cool version of it. And if you don't get her, kill her, you get the, the weird ending. They're both weird endings, but... Hello, lady. Just you and me left. No one else. I've traveled to the ends of times. I've killed everyone. Now cut her down. I'm still in the cutscene. You know how cool it would be to wield flame? You can be a pyromancer. No, I'm in real life. The first you flame could your hands in oil. The first Darkness flame quickly flames. Will shortly settle. Darkness is settling. Okay. I'm just there with a great sword, hovering over her. But one day, tiny flames will dance across the darkness. I don't know why she just kind of takes it. Linked by Lord's past. Holy crap, it's getting dark. Oh my god. Oh, I don't even have a HUD anymore. Well. Wait, was that my chance to hit her? I think I got her. She fell over. Hello, Chan? Yeah. Was that my chance to hit her? Uh, oh god, I put maybe. my foot on her head. Oh, come on. Why are you being so mean, guy? Then yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, he's being so mean. I like the fire keeper. <laughs> Nameless, accursed, undead. Unfit even to be cinder. And so it is. That ash seeketh embers.
It's kind of cool. There's so many endings to this game. Because isn't there like a wedding ending or whatever? Like you can get married? That you uh, talked about? You get married at where Aldrich is in mm -hmm. at Orlando. And that's a requirement for the ending where you become the, the, the king, the lord, or whatever. Lord of the Pygmy. Uh, well, of Dark, really. Mm. Uh, I guess me being a level 186 is still too high for like playthrough two, huh? Uh, that might be. That might get you pretty far. What do you mean? What are some of these people's levels like? Well, I don't know. Oh my god, I'm getting 121 souls per guy I killed. That's a lot. I'm only doing New Game Plus 2, so I can get to the first bonfire and save. Try to fight, uh, Udix. You want me to do that real fast? I have nine minutes. Yeah. Alright, hold on. The rest of this bonfire. See how tough a fight he is. Watch me just get absolutely totaled. And then I've watched people do an NG Plus 7 with, uh, with, uh, as, uh, deprived. Yeah, but those are people who are good at the game. I'm bad. I struggled beating bosses at level 186 on Not regular really. game. Not really. I couldn't beat most some of the bosses on the DLC. It took me so many tries. Especially for the first one. Well, the demon prince? No, the first DLC and near the end, that took me like 15 or 20 tries. Well, that's just you being weird. Well, actually, that boss fight's weird, so you're excused. She doesn't move correctly for this game. Okay, he's dead. I like killed him in six hits or seven hits. So, yep, uh... seven hits. So. Yes, you might you might be a bit strong even for NG plus one. So now I put a lot of time in NG plus one or NG just whatever. Not I don't know why I said NG. Just regular old game. Uh -huh. If I put that same amount of time part two, what level do you think I get up to? I don't know. Probably get two hundred and fifty. I think that'll be my goal. Two hundred and fifty. Well, remember my first Dark Souls three save file ever, before I even beat. The last guy, I was level 256. I didn't even beat the Nameless King. I didn't do any of the DLCs. I just had like the end game boss and I was just chilling at, and I was just chilling at Arch Dragon Peak, just hanging out and fighting around and stuff. And I was level 256 in Smog's armor or Smog's armor. My health was through the roof on that one. <sighs> oh well. That was a good game. Okay. No, you're going to bed.